In this video, we're going to look at some functions and how we can combine them using operations. We have f of x equals 2x minus 4, and g of x equals x squared minus x plus 5, and we're asked to find f minus g of x. And what this notation simply means is we take the f function and subtract the g function. In other words, we take the f of x and we subtract whatever g of x is. It would be nice if we had numbers in here that we could just plug in, and then we could subtract the results. However, we don't have that this time. We just have the entire function f of x, and the entire function g of x. And so that's what we're gonna do with our substitution, is where we see f of x, we're gonna replace it with the entire f of x function. f of x is 2x minus 4. And we'll subtract g of x. Well, g is this entire function, x squared minus x plus 5. The really important thing I want to notice as I did this is when I made those substitutions, I put them in parentheses. That is very important. They must be in parentheses because we might lose an operation if we don't use, don't have the parentheses there. In this case, the operation we could have potentially lost was the fact that this negative needs to distribute through that entire second parentheses. We're not just subtracting the x squared, but we're subtracting the whole function. When we do distribute it, we get 2x minus 4. The opposite of x squared is negative x squared. The opposite of negative x is positive x. And the opposite of positive 5 is negative 5. Last thing to do to simplify, then, would be to combine like terms. We have a negative x squared, 2x plus x, that's plus 3x, and negative 4, negative 5 is negative 9. And this polynomial, negative x squared plus 3x minus 9, represents the function f minus g of x. Or if we subtract the functions, we'll end up with this new function. We can do this exact same process of replacing each function with what it represents and then simplifying with any of the four basic operations. We've already done subtraction. Let's take a look at a division example. Here we have f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 5, g of x equals x minus 5, and we're going to find f over g of x, which simply means we have f of x on top of the g of x function. And so what we can do is replace f of x with what it is. f of x equals this whole polynomial, x squared minus 4x minus 5. Notice I'm using parentheses again. Always use parentheses when you make a substitution or a replacement. Over the g of x function, and g of x is this x minus 5, x minus 5. And then we can look at how we can simplify this resulting equation, or expression, sorry. Well, with rational expressions, we like to reduce if we can. Be careful, don't just cross off the minus 5s. That's bad. Don't do that. What we need to do first is factor. We can reduce factors that are multiplied, but not terms that are added and subtracted. And these 5s are subtracted. Can't reduce those. Those are terms, not factors. Factors are multiplied. So let's see if we can factor the numerator. Multiplies to negative 5 and adds to negative 4. That's negative 5 and positive 1 over x minus 5. And now that we have factors that are multiplied, we can reduce that entire factor that's multiplied, leaving just x plus 1. So we can look at the notation, and we see f over g. That means we take f of x and put it over the g of x function. We quickly replace f of x with what it is, g of x with what it is, based on the given information, and then simplify the resulting expression. We can follow this same exact pattern with adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Replace the functions with what they represent, in parentheses, and then simplify the resulting expression.